So now in this video session let us understand that how to record a sales order or sales quotation or performer invoice whatever maybe you call it as sales invoice or sales order or even performer invoice in tele application and also purchase order so very simple just you need to activate make sure ensure that when you record anything in purchase order or in sales order there will be no impact on your book of account because purchase order or even sales order or sales quotation or perform invoice those are all just an estimated slips there will be no actual activity of the business there is no actions in the business just ex exchanging papers there is no moment of supply there is no supply of the goods or services so your book of account will does not impact whatever you are going to record in the purchase order or in sales order which there will be no there will be no impact on any other book of accounts when you are when you are receiving any customer that they are asking about the, they, they want to they want a quotation for five number of dell computer or 10 number of dell computer so he is going to compare the quotation with the uh, five ten company so wherever he is getting cheap and best he just finalize the order right so now when you are so when a customer is arrived in front of you you should know that how to raise a sales quotation right so very simple see now before that i'll just show you my, i just show you my, my stock my stock is available in the business is total 100 number of stock is available in our hand the stock available in our hand is total 100 number of yes now you are getting a customer he wants a quotation for 10 number of stock you want to buy 10 number of dell latitude and is asking about the prices so we need to give we need to somewhere we need to note right so we are going to record a sales quotation or even sales order so directly from tally main page press f11 and go to inventory features there you need to activate called as enable purchase order processing yes and enable sales order processing yes control plus a save after once activating these two feature then see f9 is for purchase goods when you are really purchasing goods but when you are placing an order for purchase then you record it on then you record it on alt plus f4 as purchase order likely when you are selling goods to the customer you just record it on f8 sales order when the your when your customer want only the quotation but not the supply in that case you just record it on alt plus f5 is for sales order yes in our hand we have total stock of 100 out of 100 assume that mr our regular customer mr rajat is wanted to buy total 10 number of stock he he, he just asking about the quotation so what we'll do means i'm going to enter the order number as 123 order number 123 and down sales and del, uh, del latitude the stock available is how much 100 number of stock out of this 100 we are giving a quotation for assume that maybe of course you want first me then enter he wants to buy the goods to total uh, total 10 number of stock at the rate of he, and he is asking 10 number of goods and we are giving the price we are quoting the price as 25000 we are quoting the price as 25000 and then press enter so then you just press alt plus p and make sure that before printing the invoice you do not print as sales order just click on titling then change the sales order to a sales quotation because because we cannot order a customer to buy our goods right we say customer wants a quotation so we are giving a quotation we can we cannot see in the time of purchase you may place as purchase order but you, but you can't say what called as sales order you cannot order your customer to buy the goods right so just we are giving the business has to be in a polite manner so we are going to print as sales quotation then press enter then if you want to uh, print the invoice it look like just this is just this is just a sales order so this is how it look like it's showing the name as sales quotation right so even after now in the quotation we have mentioned total stock around 10 numbers right so i have a doubt that after saving this voucher after saving this voucher what would be my updated stock in my business Achha, is it 90 out of 100 we have given quotation for 10 number of stock so if i go to a stock summary is is my stock is going to be reduced no 
you are not selling any goods so your stock is not going to affect with this uh, sales order or even purchase order yes purchase order and the sales order these two voters are known as non supply and non accounting voter whatever you are going to record in these two voters there will be no impact on any wheres in your book of account yes if you want to go to stock summary still that same hand number of stock is available because yes of course you have recorded a sales order sales quotation voucher but that is not the business actual activity right for example assume that the same mr ajat was confirmed the order so in that case just go to accounting voucher and f8 sales voucher there you just simply select same mr ajat when you select ajat automatically system will display the list of orders that are in pending to get finalized so simply select the order which is finalized maybe we have given around 5 to 10 quotation out of that which one is finalized so 1 2 3 was finalized select 1 2 3 when you select 1 2 3 on the day whatever you have mentioned in that 1 2 3 order all the stock will be automatically captured into the new voucher so you don't need to waste your time by rewriting the whole voucher directly simply select the order number 1 2 3 and all the data will be automatically captured to new sales voucher and directly control plus a save when you record in the regular sales voucher then this will be considered as a business actual activity then if you go to stock summary here yes your stock was reduced from 100 to 90 this is how we record sales orders and sales quotations in tally application thank you